hi. Thanks for watching my video. I think, I think you want to throw that away. Clean it up. Don't be such a pig. Okay, so now Cherry is proper pregnant and to be honest, I'm getting kind of sick of it now. I'm over the novelty of her being pregnant. I'm just ready for her to have this baby. So I'm just going to go ahead and put her straight in labor. Maybe I'll invite her boyfriend over first though, just so she isn't alone, you know? I'll invite him and then I'll invite her brother and her brother-in-law because they'll probably want to be there for the birth. It is their baby after all. And I wasn't actually going to buy any baby kit for her because she doesn't need it, but I'll go ahead and get a basket so she can give birth. Oh, hello, handsome. Oh, look, doting dad's running on in. Okay, you can go here. Right, I'm just going to I'm just going to put her in labor. Fuck it. Sick of this pregnancy now. Oh, Jerry is having a baby. Oh, and he's panicking like a dad would. That's so cute. Um, we should ask him if he wants to move in once we've had this babe. Ask to join household. Oh, we had a baby girl. And I think we'll call her Evie. Beautiful. Oh, there she is. So this baby is essentially just a clone because her DNA is just cherry. All right, stop your fussing. Okay, brother, you can you can take her now. Move in together? Yes. Um, pretty sure that's not Evie. <laughs> oh, are you serious, Ichiro? You've got 57 simoleons to your name. Oh, for goodness sake. You don't marry for money, do you? Okay, so I wonder whether I go into manage households if it will let me move the baby. I am a bit confused. I think the game is a bit confused. Maybe because I, like, made her use just the genetics of one sim and it's just kind of really confused the game. Because <laughs> that picture looks nothing like Evie. Either way, there you go, brothers. There's your new babe. Enjoy. And then we can get on with doing some more uh, photo shoots. Doesn't even register Evie as her daughter. What about if she goes to her family tree? Will it show? Oh, it does show her as her daughter, but yeah. She doesn't have any other genetics. Right, well, I think our boyfriend is going to be our new photographer, so I'm going to get him a nice camera, and then we're going to go to our first location. No time like the present. Okay, so let's go to our first location. Our first location is quite magical. Takes a little while to get there, but... Oh, here we are. Okay, I feel like this is the perfect place to do a shoot, like a mythical fairy-style shoot. So she's going to be a fairy this time. Right, okay, I'm going to get her to do some, like, fairy-style poses. It's going to be a very magical shoot, this one, you know? Mainly because I really miss uh, fairies. Okay, so let's see the first one. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so you can take a photo. Hopefully this turns out good. Oh my god, guys. That is just... Gets a bit crazy with the bright colours, so... I uh, don't think we really need a filter, do we? I kind of wanted to get the rainbow in it, but that's okay. There will be other poses. Speaking of other poses... God, this place is so photogenic, isn't it? Oh, hello. You make a very beautiful fairy cherry. And look at that, body just bounces right back. That's what I love about The Sims, it's so realistic. Oh, I'm not even gonna lie, this is my favorite, wait, where'd you go? This is my favorite shoot that I've ever done. Makes me wanna go, to, go and do one in space now. I just think it's, it's just so cute, you know? And I, I know I say that all the time about things, but it's just cute. I love this place. I love sending my Sims here for the odd picnic. Even fairies can have tattoos. Okay, I think that's enough then. Well done, good job. I need to go back and check on my rules to find out how much I need to pay you because I'm losing track of how many shoots she's done now. Okay, so based on the rules, she gets uh, 5,000 simoleons per shoot now. So I shall pay you five. Good job, good job. Should we go home? 
Maybe you should change out of that outfit first. You don't want people to stare. Okay, let's go home. Okay, we're back home. What are you doing? You're watching a panel show? Like a you watching Strictly Come Dancing? Oh, we can get rid of that baby crib now. We don't need that. Are you guys officially boyfriend and girlfriend yet? I can't remember. Yeah, they are. Why don't you guys go woohoo? Celebrate living together and, and all that, you know? And while you guys are getting busy, I'll give you a slightly nicer kitchen now that you've earned a little bit of money. So I'm going to do the kitchen up a little bit. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the kitchen has had a little bit of a makeover. I've only touched the kitchen. I haven't done anything else because I really like cluttering places, uh, but it's hard to do that. Like I just, I run out of energy and I just can't be bothered. So I'm kind of doing it bit by bit. So her kitchen is fairly cluttered. I use the, uh, the kit, the country kitchen kit. Very girly. I mean, what can I say? Boyfriend just has to deal with it. I am married to a, uh, a man who is very comfortable with himself and uh, with being a man and he's comfortable enough that he can accept that every room in our house is very pink. <laughs> uh -huh. Ask Dust Bunny to search for valuables, go on then. I feel like I'm going to get pretty sick of this element of gameplay soon. <laughs> Let's name him Napoleon Bunny Part, we'll keep that one. Okay, well, it's 1 a.m., uh, not really the best time to go out and do another shoot, so let's just go to bed. We'll go to bed, and then we'll do something tomorrow. Oh, shit, we've got another bunny in here. Our house is getting full of dust bunnies. We've only been living here five minutes. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Also, I've just to note I've just noticed my uh my home balance. That kitchen cost me ten grand. No, it's go back to bed, it's five thirty AM. Go back to bed, it's not time to wake up yet. Oh. We're all awake, it's a sensible hour. Let's go to our next shoot. So I know it's not really the time of year for a horror themed shoot, and it's not really horror, but just fancy doing something different, you know? Okay, so we've gone for a little bit of a uh, circus theme, I suppose. I just wanted to try something different, you know. So let's uh, let's get her set up with some poses. Okay, all right. Well, we're taking a few risks. Let's see how it goes. Come on, Ichiro. You're our boyfriend, which means really you're just a cameraman now. Oh, I don't know. It seems like there's quite a lot going on, doesn't there? Not sure about that. I feel like maybe he's not at the right camera angle, but it's just a very busy picture. Like, you don't really focus on her because you're too distracted by the stuff in the background, you know? There's an awful lot going on here. But, you know, some photos work, some don't. You have to take risks. Sometimes it doesn't always pay off. You know what, I might just move this camera angle. Actually, I won't because then that will lose all of her poses. I mean, that one's okay. Don't mind that one. There we go. Very spooky. <laughs> Quite out there, that one. I'm not sure how, that, how well that one works. Although I do like the way she's got her ass by the cannon, you know? Looks like she's going to be shot out. Well, I think that's, that's enough of that. Let's uh, take a look at those. But well done, guys. Well done. Cherry, you can get changed and then you guys can go home. I will pay you. And I've got a little plan for how we can make our home a little bit more homely. Bye, circus. See you next time. We'll see you never. I really love seasons, but sometimes I get a bit sick of the, uh, the snow when I'm just playing generally. And I think it's only just started, hasn't it? Oh, it's day three of seven, so we've still got few days to put up with this but you know what that's okay because it's time to expand our family and I do not mean babes we're going to adopt two dogs because you need to have two really so they always have a friend okay so let's choose our first one what kind of dog oh little Lacey she looks like my Mia okay Lacey you're on the list you're joining the family 
<gasps> oh my goodness, here she is. Oh, she. I think she might be scared. That's why she's hiding under the sofa. Introduce yourself. Adopt her. Oh, it's so cute. Be nice to the dog. Where did she go? Where the hell is this dog? Did she just leave? Because now I have to ask her to hang out at current lot. I didn't get to adopt her yet. Right, I'm going to have to try and find a way around this. Okay, so we have Lacey. Now let's adopt another dog. And then we'll buy some dog stuff and then we'll go and do our last shoot of the day. Which coincidentally we kind of need a little bit of sunshine for, but... Oh, Lacey's a troublemaker apparently. So we've definitely got our work cut out with her. Okay, who should we adopt now? I don't want to get a boy because I don't want them to have puppies because then I just never... I never want to get rid of them and then I just end up with a house full of dogs. Let's get uh, Madeline. There we go, Madeline can join the family. Oh, I think we've got another troublemaker here. Oh my God, how cute. Right, go and adopt her right now. Okay, so we've got two dogs. Um, I'm going to go and do our last shoot before the uh, before it gets too late. I really don't know how it's going to work though because I kind of planned on doing... Hopefully it's not snowing in um, Del Sol Valley. I hope not. We'll have to see because it's not going to look very good taking a poolside <laughs> photo where there's loads of snow. Okay, it's not snowing. Great. Okay, so let's see how this is going to work. How's the temperature? It's sunny but cool. Okay, you might be able to last a little while in your kini. Just want to take a nice little summer love-in photo. Hopefully this works. I'm kind of thinking I might have messed up here with my angles, but do you know what? We're going to try it anyway. No, you're not there to swim. You're there to earn money. Okay, can he actually use that camera with it being there? Or is he going to be like, hello, I don't know how to do that. No, okay, so he can use it. Good, good. I mean, it's not a great camera angle, is it? <laughs> Maybe I can take a better one myself, though. I feel like that would be better, but why is she covering her face? Why are you covering your face, girl? Yeah, really, we kind of need to be on this side, don't we? See how that works. Come on, Achiro, before the sun goes down. Okay, that one is okay. That one's... Um, I'm pretty happy with that one, actually. That's a good one. That's a good one. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wouldn't even realise it was winter, would you? Okay, I don't think he's going to be able to capture this one. Which is a shame, because this is quite a good pose. Kind of reminds me of uh, Illegally Blonde, when Elle Woods is like sending her, her tape in to try and get into Harvard. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with the bottom of her legs, though. It looks like she's uh, a Barbie doll, you know, where they're connected to each other. <laughs> oh, this is going to have to be the last one, because the sun is already going down. There we go. That'll do. And just like that, it's dark. Well done, everybody. Well done. That one probably <laughs> won't go down as one of our best ones, but that's okay. That's fine. The point is, we made some money. And uh, I think I'm probably going to end this episode here. So I will. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.